In this video, we're going to take a look at the bridge functionality in Autodesk Construction Cloud. So here we have a project. This project is the architect who are working on a, a major project. They need to be able to share the information from their project here to the master CDE. Currently, there's been lots of difficulties in the way we can share information, both internally and externally. Now with the Autodesk bridge functionality in the Construction Cloud, what we can do is if I select the bridge tool here on the left hand side, you'll see I've already connected the project. This allows me to simply bridge the information from one project to another. If I click on here and go new project, you can see I can input an email address, a message to actually connect up two projects. This has to be the project administrator. We can also see what files are outgoing. As you'll see, there's been a number shared and any files that are incoming, and you'll see this project doesn't currently have any. Now how this works, we can simply select a folder to be shared. So in this case, I'm going to go to the shared folder. You'll see here we have one that's already defined, shared arc mod. This is for the model to be shared directly to the project. So simply when we want to share our files and automate that process, we can select a folder, Go to the top and select Share. You'll see at the top we have three options. One is currently grayed out because we've not allowed this, to, but you'll see here I can share project files with people who are on the project who have view only access or higher. I'm going to select another project. When I do this, you'll see that we have the ability to share files automatically by selecting the automatic sync. This is going to take any folder that I've selected, which there are three here, and automatically sync them with another project. We need to define the title and also select the project location. This has to be an Autodesk Construction Cloud project. This can't be any other common data environments that may be out of there. So we can just simply select the project we wish to go to, selecting the folder within that project. Please bear in mind, you need to have the right permission access to be able to access this information. So you'll see in here, for example, where we've already got the architecture one set up, we can set that location. One thing to note as well, you'll see here we have the little tick. This means the naming convention has been applied to these folders. So once the file goes in here, we'll need to make sure that the naming convention is set. So any files that do transfer over to this location are named appropriately. Now, you'll see at the bottom, it actually selects all the folders. So this will identify the locations where they're going to, the folders which are going to be copied across. So when the information is updated in those folders, new files are added, it will automatically transfer the information from one project to another. So if I just show you how this happened and go to the reviews area. And in this project, it's set up where the master drawing or model is defined and in here we've got a review process. So currently the review has been set by Gareth. Gareth has set the review and he's asked both Bianca and Richard to review this. They'll go in the review process and start the review, as you would do with a normal review inside the construction cloud. You'll see here's the model. I can select the model to do the review. Obviously I'm going to review this uh, visually and just make sure I'm happy for the model to be shared. Here's the model in question. At the top of the screen, I can set whether it's approved, rejected, or approved with comments. We can obviously customize this. I'm going to select approved. If we come across to the left hand side, you'll see here we can add any comments and add those to the model. So I'm going to go and close the model down. I've added my comments. Now I could have done this here by selecting the batch edit, which allows me to do the approval status. And if I've added any custom fields, select those at the same time. This is really useful when you're doing multiple files at once. So you'll see here, it's showing the path location of where it's stored. You'll see any comments, which I've just applied, the status, the description. It's also telling me the version number of the file. I'm just gonna go and submit for review. So you'll see here, it's going through the review process. These three people will get notified, which I am one of them. And I'm gonna go submit. So this has now been submitted and you'll see the process has started. We've approved the file 
it's taken a copy from the file which was in the work in progress area. And you'll notice here, it's transferred it over to the shared folder for us. On the left hand side, a new feature which recently came out, you'll see here, if I go transmit all, I can put a message in here just to let everybody know that the file has been reviewed and to send a transmittal notice between the people on the team. So they know the file has been shared. They'll get a transmittal notice of this information. So if I now switch back to the files area, what you'll see under the shared location, under shared arc mod, we have the latest model, which you'll see it's version two, and it was shared at this time. So what's happened, if I go to the bridge functionality here on the left hand side, you'll see there's the project that we were linking to. And just for your information, you can see here, there are two administrators on here. If I go to the outgoing, you'll see here at the top, we have one that says untitled because this is an automatic process. It's the files area sent to the project who it was by, the status it was accepted, date and time, and if it's automatic. So if I just select that, you'll see in here, it's showing me the model file that was sent. If there was multiple files in there, it will send multiple, multiple files through. So if we switch over to the CDE project, and what you'll see in here, the same thing has happened from the connection side. If I just quickly go to bridge, again, you'll see here, it shows me all the bridge projects connected which there are three because we've got the structural engineers and the building services team as well. And you'll see on this side, for example, here, we have, oh, just click on the admins, four people in this project here who are, who are administrators. So again, if I go to outgoing, you'll see here there's nothing going out outgoing to this project at the moment, but incoming, we've just received that file today. So we can easily transfer information automatically without having to spend the time on downloading and re-uploading information. It's all done automatically for us. So if I go back to the files area, you'll see in here, I now have a shared folder. Under the shared folder, under arc mod, you'll see there's the file. And if I scroll across to the other side here, you'll see I currently have the latest version in here. The status says approved because it was approved in the other project. Now, one thing to be noted here, because the naming convention is not applied in the other project, it's not identified the revision number. So I'll have to go in here manually and add this in. If we had things like the naming convention applied, it would make life a little bit easier because it would automatically fill in the right information. Now, another option here is if we wish to share information manually, and in some cases, there are things that we need to share on a regular basis that we can automate, which we've just done. But in this case, we're going to do it where we're going to manually share. I have a set of drawings in here. And now you'll notice on the right hand side, we have a published markup. I'm just going to select that drawing to find out why. So in here, you'll notice down the bottom when it opens up, we have a message. So I'm just going to click on the left hand side and go to my markups. And you'll see there's a call out. If I select that, you'll see it's just opening that. And it's identifying that the drawing number does not match the drawing itself. So we need to correct that. And also an issue has been identified. So if I select the issue, you'll see this has gone through the process. So we need to make sure that this is corrected. On the other project, we'll update the drawings and transfer them across and close out this review. So let's switch back to the other project. So in here, you'll see we have a set of drawings that's all ready to go. They've been reviewed and they're ready to be shared back into the project. Now there is more drawings than there was before. So in this case, I'm just going to select all the drawings in here, go to the three dots and select share. So I'm going to share with another project exactly the same way as I would have done before, but you'll see this time the automatic process is not available. Again, making sure I select the right project and select the right folder. Bearing in mind, again, permission-based, I may only have access to certain areas. As I'm an administrator, I can see everything right now. You'll see it's identified it. It's listing all the files I'm going to share. If I needed to, I could always select add folders, click share. So the process is now being done. So you'll see here it's selecting the files and it's sending them through. It's also going to send me an email notification. Let's switch back over to the project CDE and you'll see here the files are being copied across. As the files have appeared, 
you'll see there's some that are currently still in process of being placed in the folder. It's going in here as well and also you may find that some of the drawings have a new version. If we go to the bridge functionality on the left hand side it will tell me any incoming files which you'll see are here. If we go back to the files area the two new files are there but actually we don't have all the other ones that have come in and that's the reason because we have the naming convention applied. If I go to the top here in the holding area we have these files currently sat there. So let's select them, go rename and basically you can see here highlighted in red we need to remove some information that's on there so these can be applied in there correctly. And the files have now been transferred over back to the relevant folder. An easy way to transfer information fast and more effectively using Bridge.